Hi, I'm James Altucher. I built and sold a couple of businesses. I've probably failed at another 20 or so businesses. I blog about my experiences and I'm an investor in quite a number of companies. You know, when I started I Will Teach You Be Rich, it wasn't a blog. It was uh, me teaching informal classes like in the dining halls of my college. Because my friends would be sitting around the dining hall like, oh my God, I got my 10th overdraft fee. I'm like, oh, you should just come take this like one hour class, it's free. I'll teach you the basics of what you need to know about money. And they were like, amazing, that sounds awesome. And then no one would ever show up. For a year and a half, maybe I taught like three people. And it was so emotionally draining because everyone said they wanted to show up. Plus, I knew they needed it. I knew it was in their own interest, but nobody would ever come. And finally, okay, I had two choices. It was like give up or know that I was right, but that I wasn't communicating it in the right way. And so I started a blog. And I started the blog because my, my thinking was, all right, this clearly isn't working. Maybe these lazy college students will read my stuff if I put on a blog. They'll read it from their dorm room. And, and that turned out to be the case. Even though for the first six months there were like no comments, you can even go look right now. August 2004, no comments. But over the course of three, six months, people started coming. So now people look and they're like, oh my God, he can send an email and it reaches this many people. Well, go look at my first post. They're right there in public for you to see. They weren't that great. Uh, they weren't that funny. It took me years, I'll say like three, four, five years before it started getting like, I started getting into my groove. Sure, and, and two, two things about that. One is it's eight years later, okay, and you're still doing it, and now you have an audience, you have a best-selling book, like things take time, you know, an overnight success takes yeah. years to build. Yeah. So, and then the other thing you did was, which I always encourage everybody, is we're living in this choose-yourself era. Like you can't expect the gods of corporate America to come down and like reach you up and pull you up to heaven anymore. Yep. You know, people have to create their own brands, their own identities. People have to reach out to people directly and you know, because everybody got fired in 2008. So now thank God to inter in the internet and social media, we can create our own platform. You can create a blog and start to reach out to people and as you deliver more and more value, you'll more and more people will be attracted to that source. So you chose yourself. I'll give you an example. I had a professor once, he got a, a PhD in physics in Utah and uh, he decided, you know what, I don't like physics anymore, I like computer science. So he traveled across the country, he um, went to, uh, he, he set up base at, at Cornell and they're like, you're a physics guy, well, you're not a computer science guy. So he said, no problem. So he put a sign up uh, all over the place, here's an empty classroom at 8 p.m. on a Thursday night. I'm going to be giving a course on computers here on this topic. And bit by bit, people started to show up for this course, and he became well known as a lecturer on computer science. He wasn't a professor at all. Like, he was just showing up in an empty classroom and teaching whoever showed up. And eventually, they gave him tenure. Like, they wow. literally brought him on the computer science faculty and gave him tenure. So, it's examples like that. You have to, in this world in particular, more than ever, you have to choose yourself to do what you want. You can't expect uh, HBO to say, you know, you're great, we're going to give you a TV show. Uh, you have to come up with your ideas, write them, uh, create your Facebook platform, your Twitter platform, your LinkedIn platform, post videos to YouTube, write a book, uh, and really, you have to do what you want to do. Rather than saying, I want a million dollars, saying, my theme is, I want to provide uh, I, I want to make a theme of my life that I'm going to provide value to people. And that value will be such that I get rewarded financially. So, so then instead of saying, okay, I'm going to get a million dollars, I'm going to get a million dollars. Instead, you, say, you wake up every morning and say, what can I do today to provide value to people? 